So June is Men's Mental Health Month. Men's Mental Health Month. This is very important. Very important. Why? Because before we can get to manhood, we got to talk about being boys, being adolescents, being teens, being young men. The number two leading cause of death for black teens 10 to 19 is suicide. Suicide. I found this stat a week ago doing some random research. It blew me away. Um, as you know, most boys, before we once again become men, most boys aren't equipped, aren't taught how to deal with our emotions. A lot of times we're taught that emotions are bad, that they're negative, that you shouldn't feel, that you can't cry. I understand a, a parent not wanting their child or your friend or whoever to be like emotionally fragile. I get that. You don't want to be around whiny, weak people per se. But emotional fortitude, first means you got to acknowledge you have some feelings. That's probably the first wound we give a lot of our children, a lot of our children in our community, is making boys feel like they shouldn't have feelings and emotions. So what do you think happens when somebody steps on the Jordans, somebody says something crazy about them on Instagram, on Facebook, on social media? I didn't even grow up with this stuff. I can't imagine the, the pressure, the, um, the bullying, the need to fit in, the need to, to look a certain way, the number of likes, the number of TikToks, how many followers you got. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot on these kids. It is. It's a lot on these boys. We seem to do a better job with trying to reach our girls. I don't know why that is. I don't have kids. You have to answer that yourself. Um, but I think, unfortunately, a lot of black males who never learn these emotional, healthy skills, skills to cope with life, fortitude, skills to be able to deal with people betraying you, talking about you, when things don't go your way, when people don't like you, when you feel down. All right. We're not even talking about like depression. We're not even I, I ain't even I ain't even got to that stuff yet. That's a whole nother video. I'm just talking about like basic coping skills for life. That start at an emotional level. We're not equipped. A lot of parents aren't equipped to equip the children. That's a whole nother topic. Whole nother topic. The babies raising babies. Us not being mature enough, really developed to a certain place to at least be able to help our children. You know what I'm saying? To know how to read the books, to have a little bit of money to be able to get them in therapy if they need therapy, to be able to do the things that it just requires to help keep your children healthy across the board. So, yeah, man, I don't know. I feel like a lot of us probably are um, dead right now or in jail because we did not know how to deal with our emotions. I look at like what happened with Tupac and Big and I'm just like, damn, like. Like that was probably the most emotionally immature thing we've seen on a national scale with really talented, amazing black men who could have been. um Literally, there's no telling what they could have been if they were still alive, but they're not. You know, conflict. When we don't know how to deal with conflict maturely. Um, we 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 lose it. We lose it. Without having that discipline, man, everything falls apart. And then once again, going back to the stat, um, number two leading cause of death, suicide. Why? Why is it suicide? Because they don't have somebody to talk to. They don't have no safe space. They don't have some place where they can go and say, I'm broken. I'm hurt. I'm not okay. I don't feel like I want to, I don't want to be here. I don't like myself. I don't, you know, and so to have those safe social connections, it's like, dang, I don't know if they can get it with their friends. I'm probably, I'm speaking more so to parents. Cause once again, my mom was in my business. She asked me questions. She asked me how I felt about things often. Even if everything was good, she still would be like, how do you feel? Talk to me about what happened today and what happened with baseball and everything I was doing. She was constantly like probing, not in an intrusive way, but enough to know enough to pick up on the times where I was lying to her and the times I was telling the truth. And then after a while, she knew without me saying that she would know if I was off emotionally, mentally, if something up here was happening, she would know. And it came from observation. It came from getting to know me. It came from getting to know me, probably saved my life. Um, in several different ways So as just a quick PSA I'm going to do more videos Because this month Once again This is a whole month The month ain't over This is the first one I'm doing But um, I want you to If there's black men Black boys in your life Talk to them Ask them how they feel um, Probe a little bit deeper If they say Yeah I'm good I'm cool Don't let Don't allow that to be Oh they're cool Check Ask them a little bit more My mom I'll tell y'all this last thing when I, Before I go My mom I'll hear my mom Every now and then she lives in Vegas. Last time I was in Vegas to see her, she called my uncle, her brother. 
You know what she asked him? She was like, how you doing? I'm doing a wellness check. She was like, how you doing? I want to know how you're doing emotionally, mentally, financially, financially, physically, spiritually. How do you feel? What's going on? Talk to me. And it, it was not a quick conversation. You can't you can't answer all of those questions and just be like, yeah, I'm good. You know, spirit good, life good, heart good, mind good, money good. Like you got to You got to dig. You got to probe. Because once again, I think a lot of these cho- a lot of our children are deciding to end their own lives because life has gotten too stressful. They are not equipped to deal with all these things, the social pressures, the anxiety. And we, if you're in my generation, I'm 41. We didn't grow up with all this social media, so we don't really know what they're going through. We really don't. We really don't. So for what it's worth, uh, make sure you talk to your children. Uh, Make sure you're asking them questions, these black boys specifically, because it's Men's Mental Health Month. Please, please, please get in your boys' lives. If you're a father, don't just be there financially. Be there emotionally. Talk to them. I know it's tough. I know sometimes they don't open up. I see that in some of my friends who are married. I know it ain't easy to get them to open up and talk to you, but you got to do that work. You got to figure it out. You have to as a father because here's the here's the worst thing you can imagine. Instead of them calling you on that day when everything's too rough, if they don't have you a safe space or somebody to talk to, and the only alternative to avoid all of the pain and the experience of life that they're feeling is to literally blow their own brains out, that can't be an option. It can't be the only option. And it usually is when they don't have safe space. They're not surrounded by people or somebody, one person that can, that can be an outlet for them and an advocate. You know what I'm saying? So once again, um, talk to your people. Talk to your boys. Talk to your men. Uh, guys watching this, if you're not feeling good up here, if you know, let's stop fronting. So stop fronting for the gram. Let's stop fronting for everybody. Forget all these people, forget the media, forget social media, forget like trying to look like you're okay. It's okay to be hurt. It's okay to be depressed. It's okay to be down. It's okay to not be feeling good in a moment. Like I've been there. I've been through everything. It's okay. It's okay. You're human. Life is hard. Life is hard. It's okay. What's not okay though is you pretending that you're not going through it. You're not having some bad thoughts. If you're feeling low, man, reach out to somebody. You got to talk to some people. You got to build some safety around you. My friends, I'm going to say this and I'm done. My my closest friends literally keep me alive. I look at them as like like the people I allow in my safest, most intimate space are literally like life partners helping me to literally deal with all the, as my mother would say, the vicissitudes of life, all the, the tough stuff that life brings. Money and eh, money comes and goes. I know how to trade. I know ah, I got an NBA in business. Eh, you know, what's hard about life is dealing with the emotional piece. That's huge. That That is it. That is what a relationship is. Safest, best relationships, safe emotional connection. Worst relationships, terrible emotional up and down, highs and lows. Right. So I'm, I'm really focusing this video kind of on emotion versus mental health per se. But clearly your emotional state of being and your mental health are tied together. We feel based on how we think. You know, my mother always told me as a therapist, you get to control your thoughts. The Bible talks about the renewing of your mind. A lot of us need to renew our minds. We need to think about more positive, more healthy things. We need to see ourselves in a more positive light. We need to make sure we're guiding our emotion by really having solid, sound thoughts about who we are, about our own value, regardless of what the world says, regardless of what some woman says, regardless of what your mom says or your girlfriend or your wife and society and white folks and media. Forget all of that. Forget all of them. All that matters is when you look in the mirror, what do you see? How do you feel about yourself? How do you feel about you? Do you love you? Do you respect you? Do you look in the mirror and see somebody who's worth life, you know, and who may be going through it, but who's a survivor and who has friends and people that love them who just want to see you thriving? You know what I'm saying? So that's it. That's my PSA on this one. Um, More videos, more stats, more stuff to come. I'm just getting started. Come back. Peace.